Good morning. It's Tuesday, April 4th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Age of Offense, Part 4, and our scripture is Proverbs, Chapter 22, where Solomon writes, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. We're continuing with our series on parenting to change a culture falling apart. The first two posts, we shared about the need for parental stepping up when it comes to involvement because of the violent nature of today's world. Violence trickles down from adult actions to imprint young minds. We've allowed our children to become overly exposed to violence in every sphere of today's culture. This morning, let's turn to the purpose or the target, the substance of why we take such pains to be Christian parents. Solomon says in the proverb that we are to train children in the way they should go. Way is a metaphor to describe the pathway through life. It comes from a root word that depicts stringing a bow. Go is the Hebrew word for mouth or breath, which in the ancient world was the same as the deeds of life. The word spoken was the deed done. If you put these together, this phrase, the way he should go, becomes something like bend the bow the way it must point and eventually fire the arrow. The purpose of training, therefore, is What is accomplished in training sets the course of a child's life. There are at least three main priorities in the purpose of Christian training. The first of these is intelligence. Imparting wisdom is not the same as knowledge. Knowledge can be simply the combined weight of the internet at your child's disposal. Separating out how to use knowledge is the chief aspect of wisdom. The Bible declares that the fear or the reverence of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So teaching our children to learn of God and to reverence Him is the purpose for the process. And then there's interest. This is a two-pronged fork. We must notice the natural instincts God has placed within our children and then seek to bring it out with all the purpose of creating an interest in Christ. Biblical scholar and author Howard Hendricks tells of when he was young how a Sunday school teacher came to his yard when he was nine. He was out playing marbles, and the teacher invited him to Sunday school. Hendricks figured, at nine years old, anything connected with school was not appealing, so the teacher asked a different question. He said, want to play a game of marbles? After he wiped the nine-year-old kid out in a couple of games, he then asked, You want to learn how to play this game better? Dr. Hendricks noted that by the time he'd taught me how to play marbles over the next few days, he'd built such a relationship with Howard that I'd have gone anywhere he suggested. He ended up in a Sunday school class with 12 other boys, 11 of which ended up in vocational Christian work. And then lastly, there's integrity. Training them in the way they should go certainly includes teaching them that there is an only way. Jesus said that about himself. We need to be clear about this. It does matter what you believe. If there's any other way to heaven, then Jesus is wrong. If there's any other way to repent of sin, confessing it before men and God and trusting only in Christ, then Christianity is a fake. Parents with integrity teach your children intentionally that Jesus Christ is Lord and He alone can save them. For you today, diligent parents are involved with their children to teach them basic stuff like brushing teeth, using the potty, and not hitting their annoying siblings. These are menial and pale in comparison to teaching them to know their Creator. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.